Hey, welcome everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you the practical application of this SPACI opening hours package. How can you use to display the opening hours of any shop in your multi-vendor e-commerce website? All right, so here we have several vendors in this website and we need to display their opening hours uh, for ease of the shop like so so currently there is uh, no information if we go to this particular vendor shop we might seeing the current status of shop and when it will open all right so in order to do that what i have done here is if we go to update shop info so i have created this kind of form where user can uh, change or define the opening hours on Monday, Tuesday and all the weeks. And uh, when one can change these, we have some information. So we have some information uh, when user want to uh, open their shop on this day. So we just need this array from when hour to this from to like so. And once we got this array of the opening hours, then we can pass it and pass this array to this opening hours create, and then we can get it and we can then call different methods to get the, our desired result. All right. So let's start from first thing is the visual way to define the array. So every vendor will define their shop information in this shop management page and we give them form something like this so um, we list all the week uh, days on week and this form will display the from which time from time and to from and to just these two we need them for all so i have uh, made some uh, real cool thing like here Suppose on Monday we want to open this from 9.30 p.m. to this and then we want same timing for all other apply times to all day and boom. So I'm using live wire component to do that. So currently this is out of the scope of this video. We'll make a separate video for that uh, live wire specific. So for this uh, we just need a simple form. We, you don't need live wire. We just need to pass this area. So how I'm doing this is like so so this is the part where we are displaying that form so we need to loop through each days in a week and we just need a select box to select these opening hours so we need to construct the opening hour options from uh, 24 hours this list of from a.m. to p.m. so all the hours so I'm keeping 15 minutes cap between each of these options like 445 then 15 minute cap between each option so you can really customize that and nothing special thing happening here just looping through option and just displaying the options so if I go to the back end so let's go how I'm constructing these options. All right, so let's see. Initialize opening hours. So uh, default by default, this opening hour options will be empty and then we are constructing make opening hour options. So the base time will be the today at 12 a.m. to this uh, base time 24 hour time frame and then I'm adding 15 minutes each if we add suppose let's say 30 minutes and then we are constructing in this format a.m. p.m. so user will display see in a.m. p.m. and behind the scenes we just keep the 24 hour format so it is 12 hour format and 24 hour format all right so that's it and now so 
after displaying this form we'll get information so when we submit let's see what kind of uh, array we are getting let's tie and dump that tie and dump so i'm just saving all the information of this form into this form let's see how let's, let's set up and this opening hour will be array of these weekdays as array and here two time from all right so from this time to this time like so okay so once we say uh, we get this opening hour array we'll store it somewhere so i'm using the json column opening our json column where it will save like so in json just serialize that array into json json encode that and it will save there so you can just cast it to array or just use a json encode function to uh, do that so just don't get overwhelmed by all these code and just focus on this opening hour just we need to save that on that json column so according, according to your need you just need to update that all right so once we have this information saved somewhere in our case this column then what we can do to display the status of that shop is let's go to vendor controller and this show page so it will display the vendor detail page so in vendor detail page we have the vendor information and if we have vendor information we'll check if we have opening hour information stored in opening hours column then what we'll do is we'll collect that uh, so that will we'll get that on associative array and i want to use some collection methods uh, to change something to format them so i make this collection and then filter through only active ones and then map it from to because we need to format that on this format right so from this and to okay so uh, we require this data in this format so we need to append this dash from this hour to this hour and if we have multiple opening hour then we can supply this on array so just to um, you just to format that so that we can use it in this class we have mapped it up and now if we so let me show you before and after so let's tie and dump this so before we have saved simply in array like opening hours so let's go to the vendor sorry this page here yeah. so we are just storing that like this and now we cannot pass this on this opening hour class so we need to format that let's let's see the after formatting how we get the data let's go back and yeah so after formatting we get something like this from dash and then to all right okay so once that is done we pass this data to opening hour create then it will create the opening hours object and we have the now and then range so this in uh, we can simply see the documentation how they are instructing us to use that so we have some now time frame so that we can keep the track of currently ta current time and reference to current time we can calculate uh, range and if there is some range then range start will give from when it is open and range end will give us the close time similarly there is other information so according to your need you can just customize this in my case i just need 
uh, open now so if there is range then it is open open if there is no range then it is close so range end when it will close i just want to give the information like this and this opening info will be string and then i'm passing just infoing uh, opening info string and displaying it on uh, that blade file okay so that's all about it you just need to store that and simple formatting you need to do and then pass it to object and then display so it's quite simple hope uh, you learned something out of this video so if there is any question you can just comment down below and i'll uh, get back to you so i will see you in another video bye